Obviously, it's a, it's a great day for, for the team. Uh, we've been um, um, over 10 years um, building um, a platform for, for luxury fashion, um, for boutiques, for brands and, and for consumers. And, um, and that's what we're going to continue to do. Um, it's, um, it's very early days, there's a huge uh, opportunity in this market. It's a $300 billion um, industry today. Um, only 9% um, is online, 91% is still in physical stores. Uh, the online is growing at 25% um, a year. And this represents, um, you know, over the next 10 years, a 100 billion plus opportunity just in online luxury. And that's what we're going to go for. Now, hysteric historically, some of the luxury brands have been a little bit slower and sort of more hesitant to get into the e-commerce space. How are you able to convince them to partner with you? And in light of that, what are people buying? Yes, I, I, I think um, luxury is, um, is about heritage, it's about creativity, aesthetics, and rightly so, the brands um, have been slow because they need to, sh to choose uh, the, absolutely the right channels. It's all about uh, where your product is and, and how it's displayed and serviced, um, and, and the level of service to customers is really, really important. Um, but the brands, um, um, over these 10 years, we've built uh, relationships um, of trust with, um, uh, with, within the industry. Um, and I think the brands have um, fully embraced um, that this is an opportunity, actually, to, uh, to penetrate um, markets such as China, a new uh, millennial generation of consumers coming um, onto the luxury market and they're, they're digital first. Um, and so it's, um, it's a great opportunity and we want to be uh, their partner, we want to be their, their platform. I wonder if you think luxury brands, generalizing here, uh, were afraid of e-commerce early on because they felt it was down market somehow. Is that, you think that's true? I don't think, um, you know, um, I think brands uh, move cautiously um, and they choose their partners very carefully and they choose their channels very carefully. And um, as these channels developed, um, the brands um, have adapted to them and, and they're now using social media, they're now using, um, you know, uh, digital uh, media extensively, mm -hmm. video, etc., to create desire, um, to, uh, to drive um, discovery of new products, um, and obviously transactions as well. So I think obviously it's a gradual pace, but what's really exciting is that we're at that inflection point where the brands um, have seen this is a tremendous opportunity. Jose, who is your customer and where is your customer? Because for those who aren't familiar with Farfetch, $1,000 is relatively cheap for something selling on there that, that's not on sale. You've got great diversity in the look of the models on the site. Uh, where is the customer geographically and how sensitive to economic fluctuations? Um, so we have um, uh, uh, two thirds of our customers are women and one third are men. Um, it's a very young demographic, um, around 34 years, um, uh, 34 years uh, on average. Um, very stylish clientele, obviously, I'm, I'm biased, but, um, uh, and, um, you know, they, they love discovering new brands, new emerging uh, designers, but they also love discovering uh, from, from the big brands, uh, uh, perhaps one product or, or a new um, creative concept that is coming out. And, and it's a passion for them. It's a passion for our customers. It's a passion for our boutiques and brands and, and for our team, quite frankly.